Okay, so moving on rapidly to our next case study. Please put your hands together and help me welcome Marco. Thank you. Well, thank you to whoever has decided me to go after Rani because <laughs> it's not that easy, honestly, now since she started talking of uh, her dad. So, well, thank you, Simon, for inviting me here, and thank you, everyone, as well. Um, thank you, especially because over the last 12 months, there has been uh, quite a few downs. And without you, it would not have been able to, I would not have been able to be here. So thank you. So a little bit about myself and uh, how I got here. So that's where I grew up, or let's say nearby. So from the <laughs> Italian Alps. <laughs> but that's 15 minutes by car from where I live. Growing up as a happy boy. And then I moved to Milan for university. And that's where I met my wife. Well now wife, girlfriend at the time. And together we came here to the UK, to London, working in the city, investment banking. Um, great experience, great stuff. But you know, for me and my, my wife, we never considered London as a long-term place to be. Uh, for us, it has always been an experience. And then, you know, when it was time to just settle down, going back to Italy or maybe nearby. And that's what we, what we did after five years. We moved to Geneva, a bit more relaxed, got married, time for kids. But after not even 12 months that I was there, my boss came and said, Marco, we're going to close the office in Geneva, and we would like you to join back in London. Happy days, I would say. Um, honestly, I, found an, I tried to find an alternative, and uh, I didn't find it, and uh, we moved back. And the mood was not great, honestly. For um, the first time in my life, I felt like, a, <clears throat> let's say, a privileged economic slave, because I had to do something just to put food on the table for also the, the baby that, that we got. And yeah, this was the moment where I decided I really started to think, yeah, good, I have a great job, whatever, but it's not really giving me what I want. Um, this is not the lifestyle I want. I need to build a, a cash flow differently. That's where I started to think about properties. That's when I started to attend pin meetings in, in London. Uh, but I was very curious about all these programs I was hearing at pin meetings. But you know, I've been trained as an investment bank, so why should I need a training in order to do this stuff, right? Then what happened? September 2017, my boss, boss came and says, Marco, how do you see New York? We would like you to move to the office there. This was my reaction at first. <laughs> and the second thing I did is I just give, called Simon and started Mastermind24 without even having done the, the accelerator. So my situation at the start of the strategy, I, I put it here because for me it's really fundamental to, to understand for, for everyone where you start from, because you need to be realistic as well. Never, had, never done any buy to let in my life, never done a property investment in my life, never done a, re a refurbishment in my life. Because of that and because I was coming just less than two years ago from abroad, mortgage quite complicated for me and also I have a little time because I have a busy job. However, I had some savings. I have a background in investments, that's my job. But most importantly, um, strong family support <clears throat> and a strong determination. So the goal, as I said already, replace my salary. The strategy, I, I don't want to do a lot of deals. I want to have a, a manageable number of portfolios, but each of them, they must make a lot of money. So how I implemented, I said, okay, let's shoot for HMOs. Let's try to go high end, all on suites. Again, why? Because the rent is typically higher. Working with other people, leverage time and expertise of other people's when I don't have it. And focus on London and the Southeast because the rents are higher. So HMO number one, I bought this beauty 
at 325. Spend the refurb of 95 on it for a total project cost of 450, because of course there are other costs on top of the refurb. To turn it into this, six bed all suites HMO, which has been revalued at 520. And you know I was having problem with uh, the mortgage. Well, when I started to work with uh, the best broker in the UK, that it's also here in the room, he brought me over the line with uh, one of the lender, doing an exception to me and say, yeah, but look for the first deal, maximum 65% LTV. That's great in any case. So the economics, um, 700 uh, on average per room, so 4,200 a month. Um, after you deduct bills, uh, avoids the maintenance and the mortgage, you end up with a profit of 2,100. This is, okay, ROI above 20%. And I simply said, okay, let's do it again. It took some time to do this, to find this other beauty, and I just completed last week, 295. This is a three bed, it will become a six bed, all in suites, it will cost more money because we are going into the lofts as well, which is not in a great condition. In total, it will cost me 480 to be revalued between uh, 540 and 560 because it's better location and uh, bigger rooms. Also, you will see bigger rents. Here, I will be able to tap 75% because it's the second deal. So rent will be more than the previous one. Uh, cost the same, mortgage more because there is more leverage. This property is making, is gonna make uh, 1850 a month in my pockets for an ROI of 26.4%. Uh, so these are my two strictly related property deals. Then there is something else that I want to speak to you about, which is not property investment, but it's property related and it's something that without mastermind, I would never been able to do. It summarized these three words at the, at the bottom, mindset, support, and knowledge. So it, it has all started at the PIM meeting in, uh, in London. It was the end of last year. That's where I met uh, a UK property investor. And I started speaking about him, about what he does, about his portfolio. Uh, basically, the whole story is that he's looking to, to refinance this portfolio, but not necessarily bank finance was is the best for him, for various reasons. Here comes the knowledge, the knowledge of properties and my personal knowledge as an investment banker. I said, look, there could be an alternative. Let's go and explore the alternative of placing an instrument on the financial market, so a bond um, in a regulated uh, EU stock exchange. So I've introduced this concept to him. It was in January, I followed up, followed up and uh, in August, he said, yes, let's go and do it. So the process has started, it's all going well, and he's targeting to raise through this uh, um, bond 15 to 20 million pounds. And I will make a 1% fee for me. This is, this will, there is some work to be done, but uh, Q1 2019, we are going to basically to, to offer it on the market if you want you can buy it as well. <laughs> so as a recap, uh, from my properties, so in order to do the two properties, I spent 930,000 in total for a revaluation of uh, 1,060,000. This is a nice uplift of, uh, of equity for the first two years of my life, quite happy about that. And in terms of annual profits, the two properties are making 47,400, and then there is the bond. Uh, so for a total shy of 200K. The battery is running low and I don't know what to do with this. <laughs> ah, okay, here is the, thank you, buddy. And yeah, so these are the figures. In the process, I've been able to raise a lot of interest. I haven't used it, all of it. But the reality is that when you start doing, after the first property especially, when I start showing uh, my parents and my friends what I've done, they got all very interested. So doing the first property is really massive, make a massive difference. Future deals, um, honestly just keep going because I haven't hit my goals yet, but I have uh, four properties in, in the pipeline. 
uh, two deals. Both of them off market. The first one is coming from an agent that it's funny enough, I haven't bought any, the two properties, I haven't bought them from him. However, just because I was calling him every month, we became good friends and uh, he called me as a first person to go when he got this deal. It's uh, an investor who wants to sell the three properties altogether. And then there is, uh, <clears throat> well, I placed an advert on the newspaper and believe it or not, a guy called and on Monday and on Tuesday, I'm gonna meet him at his property. So let's see how it goes. Honestly, if it happens to, to do the, the four of them, then I'm happy days, hit my goals and then move on to the next phase. Um, I still prefer to keep working in, uh, in Crawley, which is where I have everything based now, near Gatwick. Uh, it's just about for me trying to understand, okay, if the young professional market maybe is not gonna work or I don't want to do it anymore, what else can I do in that area rather than looking for another place to invest? Because it would mean to change completely and it would take time, but I still consider it as a second option. So the key learnings rather than tips, that's what I learned, then up to you if you want to apply it. For me, it's all about the four Ds. Uh, without a desire, discipline, determination, and dedication, it's difficult to achieve what you want, but if you have it, you can achieve whatever you want, really. Uh, do what Simon says, um, because just by following up with that guy, he offered me the three properties. Um, use the network because I've been interacting a lot with, uh, with people, uh, with not, not only in this room, but in the network. And also the deal about the bond has come from a PIM, just from a PIM meeting. Work with others and trust me, choose the best because at the end they are also, at the end they are also less expensive. And uh, yeah, for me it's important that everyone understands where uh, where, where you start from, because in this way you can be realistic and focused on where to go. You can do the right steps in, the, in, the, um, in between. And then I would say if you have a, a little time, leverage it, go for bigger deals as soon as you can, because uh, they usually take the same amount of time and efforts as a small deal, but the result is much bigger. So I want to thank everyone uh, just before finishing, well, starting from my wife and, uh, and daughter and all the patients that they have with me in general, uh, mom and dad and family, and then all of you here in, in this room, uh, Simon, Billy and Carly, that has been my um, coach and mentor. Um, and then my, my ladies in Crowley looking after my, my property investments. And then two guys have been reached out uh, from past mastermind. Uh, it has always been great to tap to their experience. And yeah, thank you very much. <clears throat> <clears throat>